Hello, and thank you for watching another video from the FatVeganChef.com. Today I'm going to make a Peruvian inspired quinoa, quinoa, and amaranth pilaf. I am using three different grains in this pilaf, but they are all interchangeable. They all require two parts liquid to one part grain, so if you have one, you can just use another. Um, I'm going to be using an ahi amarillo as well which is a uh, sweet and spicy chili pepper that's also used in Peruvian cooking. This recipe is gluten free, high in nutrition like iron and protein, and it's easy to make. So let's begin. The tools that you will need to create this dish are a cutting board with a towel underneath, a sharp knife, a strainer, measuring cups and measuring spoons, and a pot that's large enough to hold at least a gallon's worth of water with a lid on top. The ingredients you will need to make this dish are three tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, one onion diced medium, one to two celery sticks diced medium, one to two carrots sliced thin, and I left the peel on this one uh, just for the extra nutrition, you can take the peel off if you want to. One green pepper, diced medium. The equivalent of one half to one ahi amarillo pepper. And this happens to be one tablespoon of amarillo pepper sauce, which is the equivalent to half a pepper. So two tablespoons would make one whole pepper. One zucchini diced into half or quarter moons depending upon the size of the zucchini. Three garlic cloves minced. One half cup of caniwa. One half cup of um, quinoa. One half cup of amaranth. Two cups of tomatoes diced, and I used Roma's, two tablespoons of soy sauce, three cups of vegetable stock. You also need two uh, tablespoon or two teaspoons of cumin, one tablespoon of grains of paradise or black pepper, one teaspoon of coriander, one half teaspoon of chili powder, two teaspoons of oregano, and a teaspoon of salt, and this is sea salt. All right, let's get cooking. What you want to do is start by heating up your pan with medium high heat. Get your pan nice and hot. And then you want to add your olive oil. And you can see that the pan is hot because of the way that the olive oil moves in the pan. And you can hear the sizzle. Alright. Once you've got the olive oil in there, add your onion, your carrot, your zucchini. your green pepper, and if you're using fresh ahi amarillo, add that in as well. If not, we'll add the sauce later on, and add your celery as well. And we're going to let this cook until the onions start to get translucent. Take it a couple minutes here. Stir it up. Make sure you got the olive oil covering all of your vegetables. Okay, 
Now that your onions have started to become translucent, it's time to add some more ingredients. What we're going to do is add your garlic. Get that in there. Okay. And then what you want to, and then you're going to add your your quinoa or your quinoa. And this quinoa, I washed first. There's a layer that is on the seeds that tastes a little bit bitter in the mouth. If you wash them really good in that strainer or in your strainer, that will wash that uh, that bitterness off of it. And so you just add that in there. And now your candy wall. You stick. And your amaranth. And you also want to add your spices at this at this point too. Okay, so again, your spices are going to be grains of paradise or black pepper. And I do explain about grains of paradise in my macaroni and cheese video, so if you want to watch that, I'll talk about grains of paradise. Your cumin, your coriander, your chili powder, your salt, and if you use dry oregano, use your put in your dry oregano now. Otherwise, you'll add your fresh when you add when you put in your uh, your vegetable stock. So now we'll give this a good stir and we'll let this cook a little bit to give some flavor to the garlic and also to your grains. Let your vegetables cook down a little bit more. Okay, you should start to smell the spices and the garlic. Well, that's good. We're releasing the oils out of the spices and the garlic starting to cook. Let this sit for a couple minutes more and cook. Okay. Now at this point we'll go ahead and add the aji amarillo sauce if that's what you used. If you used fresh, it should have gotten in your pot when you put in your onions. want to waste any of that good chili. So we'll give this a little bit of a stir. that cook for about a minute. Okay, now we can start smelling the, uh, the chili pepper. So now it's time to add the Roma tomatoes. Let the Roma tomatoes cook down for a minute. Okay, 
Just let the Roma tomatoes cook down for about a minute. Now what we want to do is stir that up a little bit. And now we're going to bring our temperature up to high. And we're going to let the pot heat up just a moment. So we're about to add our vegetable stock and our soy sauce to it. And we want to give that water a good fighting chance to boil as quick, bring up to a boil as quickly as possible. So I'm going to add my soy sauce first. Get that stirred in. Okay, now we're going to add our vegetable stock. And this is a low sodium organic stock. And you want to try to choose the low sodium one because the soy sauce and the salt that we added in, if you do get the one that does have sodium, just eliminate the salt. Now what we're going to do is bring this up to a boil. Okay, once this has come up to a boil, what you want to do is go ahead and put a lid on it. Just like that. And bring it down to where it's going to be a low simmer and wait 20 minutes. Don't open it up. Don't try to stir it. Don't peek. Just let it sit there and simmer for 20 minutes. All right, it's done. Let's take a look at it. Now, if you're gonna use fresh oregano instead of dried, you wanna add your oregano now and go ahead and give it a stir. Get that oregano mixed in with the rest. It's looking good. And so now it's time to serve. Take a couple scoops. Then what you want to do Garnish it with a couple of the leaves of cilantro. Make it look nice and pretty. And that is quinoa, quinoa, and amaranth pilaf. Enjoy!